Hello everybody, it's Zach here from RealEstateLicenseWizard.com. How's it going today? Hopefully good. Today we're going over another one of our practice real estate exam questions. Listen up guys, if you're new here, it's super simple. We post a new question every Monday through Friday. It's as simple as that. You learn something, you guys get to listen to me talk for a little bit. We all have fun. It's a great experience, and of course, it's perfect for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So if you're in that situation, make sure to click that like button and subscribe that we are fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So today's question has to deal with condominiums. So the question states, unlike apartments, which are leased by their tenants, condominium units are owned outright. A condominium is often shortened to, and it gives us four options. First option is A, uh, CCRs. Second option is B, co-ops. Third option is C, corps or corps. And the last option is D, uh, condos. So as always, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, think it over, read it over, all that good stuff. So go ahead and do that now if you need to. Okay, are you guys all set? Awesome. So the correct answer for this one is... D. Yes, condos. So there's going to be two sets of people that hear this, this question and watch this video. One set that was like, oh yeah, I definitely know, you know, it's condos. No biggie. Easy question for me. And then there's going to be another set that were like, oh, well, it could be co-ops uh, or it could be condos. Which one is it? And maybe they, maybe you guys, maybe, maybe you're in that situation. Maybe you thought it was a co-op. Well, I'm going to explain the difference and kind of why it is condos, because believe it or not, co-ops and condos get mixed up all the time. So a condominium is a type of living space which is similar to an apartment, but is independently sellable and therefore regarded as real estate. Now, unlike apartments, which are leased by their tenants, condominiums are owned outright. Now, a condominium as I mentioned earlier, as you know, in this question, they're shortened to condo. Now, the difference between a condo and a co-op? Well, a condo is a private residence in a multi-unit structure that includes ownership of commonly used property. Now, a co-op is a multi-unit building, but where that's where the similarities end. So they're both multi-unit buildings, but that's it. A co-op owner has an interest or share in the entire building and a contract or lease that allows the owner to occupy a unit in it. So while a condo owner owns a unit, a co-op owner does not own the unit. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Hopefully it does. So I'll recap briefly. Uh, basically, a condominium or a condo for short, which it was asking in this question, they actually physically own the property within a multi-unit building. So maybe it's like a two-story apartment type building and they, they own that like from head to toe. They own that square, those rooms, everything. Those are technically theirs. That's individual real estate. Now with a co-op, they own the entire building in a portion of a share. That's right. So maybe they own like 1% or like 5% of the entire co-op, but they technically don't own uh, that specific you know, room or wherever they're living. They own the entire uh, facility or the entire multi-unit building in a form of a percentage. And that is the difference. And it's super important to understand uh, because this is often mixed up all the time. People get these, these like confused and, and it's as simple as that. One is they own a specific portion of real estate. The other is they own the entire portion of real estate, only they only own a certain percentage of it. I hope I hope that makes sense. I know that's a little bit of a confusing concept, but uh, if you guys do have any questions about it, you know I'll try and explain a little bit better uh, down below if you guys are still struggling. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something today. Uh, I know we went off on a little bit of a tangent like we normally do, <laughs> but this is one that, again, it, it can be a little bit confusing, uh, and and it's something that you need to wrap your head around. So, yeah, that's it for this. Uh, if you guys haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do. All right, guys, that's it for me today and this week. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend. 
Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. As always, this is Zach from RealEstateLicenseWizard.com. Make today magical.